especially after watching that Dead Apple movie with so many amazing Chuya and Desai moments. This episode being called Desai Chuya at 15 years old. Super interested. Super interested. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with season three, episode one of Bungo Stray Dogs. It sounds great to say that. First of all, what that means, if you guys don't know, the first and last episode of every season of every show we watch on the channel, the full length version, which is normally available as a tier on Patreon, is available for free for everyone. So make sure to click that link at the top of the description. Come back here when you're done for the review. And if you guys do enjoy that, consider keeping that Patreon, checking that out, because you can keep that for every other show, we, every other episode we watch. It's a great time. Also, I'm super excited to hop into this. I just did the OVA, which was a great Kunikita episode, and the movie, which had so many different aspects. Great, uh, I can't even get into that. I'll literally talk about that for like an hour. But I have no idea what season three is gonna be about, just like I had no idea what season two is gonna be about. I'm assuming um, Fyodor, F Fyodor I, I, I always struggle with his name, is going to be our Russian enemy or antagonist i am very excited i say we not waste any more time let's hop right on into it don't forget if you guys want early access and the full length like i was talking about check out that patreon we are four episodes ahead over there um don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel follow all the social medias instagram twitch tiktok twitter all at dapper darius much much appreciated let's hop into this uh bungo stray dogs season three episode one Desai chuya 15 years old let's do it this is about that, uh, the dragon head conflict, yep. So at the beginning of the movie, too. One year before the dragon head conflict? Oh, okay. Oh, that's definitely a young Chuya. Still has great sense of fashion. He can make his foot- oh, that was a great kick. He can make his foot like 10 times heavier than the bullet. It's not doing anything. How does he go from this to being a higher up in the Port Mafia? What? Is that the same cat? Looks like the same cat from the Lupin. I firmly believe that. Interesting. Interesting. さっき言ってた僕に似た人って誰？私だよ。おお。ダザイ君。なぜ君は死にたい？できるなんて行為に何か価値があると本気で思ってるの？Not why he joined the poor mafia to see if you can find value in his own life. That's the same castle palace that we had the movie in. That looks. Uh, oh, is he going to get Octagua? That's the same cat. Because I know Octagua was from the slums, which this looks like. So they said an explosion was here, and they ended up building a city in the, in the rubble and everything. That's Octagua. Oh my lord. Talk about an attack. Oh no, that was Chuya. I'm an idiot. Damn, talk about an introduction. Who? <laughs> The guy on the plane also called him the king of the sheep. <laughs> they hate each other off the rip and they become partners. That's hilarious. 
He wrote to Zach. I'm not letting you do this to my superior. I still don't even know Hirotsu's power. Ooh. This man is so... Oh my lord! I was not expecting this. Old man wizard Hirotsu? What the hell? Oh. What? And now we go from that to this? Those are some dope restraints. Yeah, they sure hit it off. Rando? I wonder if he's still in the Port Mafia. I don't think we've seen him. Okay. He's a, really? He's a secondary executive? No wonder I haven't seen him. Look at, look at the crater he made just by standing up. That, that's a good point. They were both there. I wonder where he heard that rumor. Not even hiding it. As his friends hostage. Mm. He is the leader of the sheet. <laughs> Put him in a horrible situation. Really? In each case, he was down there? So that it wasn't he, old man wizard Hirotsu? That's, that's. I know, that's crazy. Hey, I mean, I mean, she's uh, Shibusawa technically came back to life in the movie, so. That's scary. Beast of the gods, or Habaki of the Black Flames. Uh huh. That's scary as hell. Yep. You win, you lose half your members, you lose, you lose all your members, so. I love the shot. I mean, with the amount, with the gifts that you guys have, you know, you know, I really wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, I'm sure killed a lot of people. Look at that. Yep. You're gonna have Chuya. He's like, huh? They already didn't. They're not even partners yet, and they already don't like each other. Knowing what they become in the future, this is so interesting. I'm really enjoying this. 
悪いけど話しかけないでくれるちょっと呼吸で忙しいから右引っこ抜くぞ自殺願望<laughs> I love how he's just jumping on the rails and stuff. That sounds like something I would do. <laughs> so he's getting started on this episode. I would assume there's a lot of casualties. Survivor is gifted. You've already met this person. Another explosion? What the hell is going on? That sounds like the true your way. That'd be me. Huh. All right. What a child. This is not just like the Oda and Dazai story of at the beginning of season two that I was not expecting at all. I was definitely not expecting a Chuya and Dazai backstory for the beginning of season three. Super interesting. Very unique plot. It's, it has to do with the boss reappearing that we've we've known Mori was the killer of him, but I was not expecting him to play any more of a role in here. But he's tied to Ari Habaka. Uh, or Ari Habaki, something along those lines, which is a servant of the gods who seems to be summoned during when there's a lot of hate present and will cause explosions and chaos and havoc. And Chuya right now is the leader of his own little miniature organization doing what they need to do. And he has wants to take vengeance on the port mafia for what they've done to the city, which was indeed caused by the old boss. He seems to be a little off his rocker, but I'm so curious how Desai or Chuya goes from Chuya we see right here to being a devoted member of the Port Mafia, you know, willing to do whatever it takes to support them, which is just absolutely insane. I mean, we go, we see this, how he's causing all this havoc, fighting all these people, and then in the movie Dead Apple, he literally is fighting a cosmic dragon because Mori told him to. So it's like, I can't wait to see how we get from point A to point B. But uh, very interesting, and this is super early in Desai's life as well. Um, it's very interesting all around. I have to watch this next episode to learn what happens next. You know, the next one's called God of Fire, which I'm assuming is the Ari Habaki. So I'm gonna hop into it right now. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias: Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated. Don't forget to drink some water. Be safe. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.